Yo guys, what's going on? It is me, KLV, and in today's video, we are doing the Helmet of Beginner's Guide. And this was suggested by Potato Prime 220 in my Discord. Link to his Twitch will be in the description down below. First link, make sure you go check him out and give him a follow. So now, how to get a helmet is at first, you need to make sure your standing is level 3. Uh, make sure your standing is level 3, because then you can actually get it. And then once that is level 3... Go over to this guy over here, I believe it is the sun, I believe. And then you go over to Browse Wares, and there it is, right here. Helmet uh, segment blueprint, then you just have to build all the stuff, and then you're onto it. So let's go back to the ship. All right, so once you have built the helmet segment, I believe you do have to wait a bit. Now, you can rush it if you want to. I did. I know I did a video saying not to rush stuff, but that's because I had content that I had to do. So, for the helmet... What you have to do is we're going to explain all the resources and everything that you have to do. So if you see here, you can level your helm up. So you got one, two, mainly people's going to be looking for that mark for death. But you can keep leveling it up. Now how you level it up is by trading in abilities. Now abilities can only be used by non-prime frames. And non-prime frames. And also you can't choose what ability they always are picked. Like for example, Reeve is, is already picked on my Revenant. Now, make sure you do have a second Warframe if you are wanting to keep on, because if you use, so if I here take Reeve off this ability, I will no longer have my Revenant. So, if you want Reeve, or you want an ability, say for example, I don't know, Rhino, Rhino's Raw, make sure you have a second Rhino. So, for example, Rhino Prime, for example, and use the non-Prime Rhino. But obviously, for the ones that haven't got a Prime, make sure you have a second version just for this. So, how you feed them is you use abilities. I did a video on how to level up your helmet really quick. I'll put a little card on the screen right now. So now feeding the helmet with resources. Now this can be a pain, but I'm gonna try and explain it the most easiest way. So bile can be the most hardest one to farm, but can at the same time be kind of easy. So if you see here on these, you see these like green arrows. Now the green arrow is what will give you the most. So if you see here the bottom right, my corner, this will get from 52% make me go to 82% when I get five of these. Because that has got all, all green. It's like that's going to give me maximum. But the thermal sludge is only going to give me 8% because I always use thermal sludge as it is really easy to farm. Now I might do a video on it, on farming them resources in the future. Make sure you do comment if you do want to see that video. So I always use thermal sludge, that's why mine is down compared to like Morphix and all that. So basically if it's got a green arrow going up, you're going to get the most amount out of it. So if you see here, resources are really easy, some of them are. So if you see here, plastids, um, you've got mutagen samples, a lot of them are really easy. Basically just feeding this guy will give you a, a certain amount of XP. Now obviously the more you feed, the more that you are going to level up your thing. So now on this one again, all green because I don't really feed them a lot. One I recommend for the calx is doing the croc door and the irradiate because you can both get them on um, planes of Eidolon. So doing them is a really good one to do for that one. So oxides are really simple. I just always use oldest you always use salvage. I never run out of this one so. Really cool. And then when you feed him, you get a little get a bit of XP. Now I didn't do a lot of feeding, so that is why. Right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna show you on how you can actually put abilities onto people. Now, unfortunately I don't have enough resources to actually put any of my abilities on. And I don't really have anyone that I do want to get rid of. So for example, we're gonna just put like mark for death or just one of them really bad abilities on someone. So we're gonna let's let's do um, so you can put them on different configs as well, so you don't have to like for example I believe on my Revenant, I have um, I have Warcry on my Revenant. So if you see here, on my on this build on my Config A, I have Warcry as my all. Config B, I have the uh, Dance Mar Mar Macabre or however you say it. So it just it just goes on to one of the slots. So how you get get ability? Now if you do want to get rid of it, you just go like this. You press X, then you'd have to confirm it. And then once then, you'd have to wait 24 hours. Or you can rush it if you want to. Um, I don't recommend it though. So now, some really good ones is Mark for Death. Like I said, Mark for Death is a really good one. I have enough right here to use it. So what you could do now here is where you can choose which one you want to get rid of. So here, I am probably going to get rid of my ultimate as all of them can be kind of good. 
So you'll swap out that. You choose which config you want to do. So me will be config B. You press confirm. And then right there it stabs them. Now when you put an ability into someone, it doesn't you don't have to wait 24 hours. You basically get it instantly. But when you are taking an ability and you are putting it into this little into the slot, you'll want to get a flower and your warframe will sit up here in this little flower area for that 24 hours. Once it's, you'll be able to use them, so for example, Molt, and you'll be able to put them on any single character you want. Now, what I do recommend is knowing what abilities will work good together. So imagine like putting, like I don't know, Paul on, for example, this guy. It won't really work. Now, make sure you don't like waste the abilities because they do take a lot of time farming the resources because they just take a lot of time. They just take a lot of time farming the resources. Bitch, what? Like randomly using them, or unless like, you think, this might be a good synergy. Just make sure you know, so like I said, put on pull, or for example, put a master summons on uh, Revenant and not having um, a, co a Kuva or something, a companion. So, so mate, I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Make sure you drop a like and subscribe if you did. And uh, yeah, peace out.